A 5'6", 155-pound quarterback has been recruited and now committed to TCU. His name is Desmond White. He has put up tremendous numbers throughout his entire high school career. We have a video of him, so we'll take a look at a few of his highlights. We can narrate on top of it. So. Roll it when you're ready, Mike, if we can. Uh, he is committed to TCU. He came from DeSoto High School in Texas. Here's a picture of him. If we, I believe we do have the video. We don't have the video. Awesome. I'm terrible at my job. Okay, so moving right along. His high school career, 8,095 yards, 81 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. That's passing, and he only started for two years. So those are great numbers. Rushing, 450 attempts, 4,071 yards, 41 touchdowns. As a two-year starter, 28-2 and two on his teams that he started, they put up 52 points per game, an average of 52 points per game at least. And um, he went to the state semis. His 40 time is 4.49. So this is, this is Darren Sproles as a quarterback, basically, with quarterback skills, with passing, obviously. I think one of the things about catching someone that small, you can't see him. When you, he's a runner, obviously, from those numbers. He's a runner, but his high, his high school highlights, I mean, he, he can throw. He can throw. throw, ball, he right? can throw. Yeah, but playing, and playing at TCU and against some of those Big players they're going to be playing in the against. Big Twelve, it's not like yeah. this is what I'm it's exactly that was exactly the point I was going to make. It's one of those things where first and obviously because of his running numbers, you have to account for the run. Uh, so I think again we're in high school. They're like stop this guy from running. Yeah, yeah he can make some passes after that. Yeah, again, I'm not trying to downplay the kid. I'm really not. I, I promise. I, I wish all the luck to him. Um, it's just. You better be ready to adapt your game. Just be prepared because it's not the same game. There are Every some level. little quarterbacks. I mean, you look at the Doug Flutie. You think of the Cleo Lemon, who was a really good quarterback. Manziel in now. And Manziel now. The different, but yes. Um, but really little. I mean, five six is is unheard of. I yes. mean, he, Andy Dalton, who was at TCU, also uh, is six two. You know, and you don't think of him as a big quarterback. No, he anymore. doesn't look big. You know, he doesn't look mm -hmm. big. You wouldn't guess that he was six two, but that's eight inches taller than this guy. Uh, so you know, he's going to get to TCU. He's going to have blockers in front of him like he's never had before, and he's going to have fullbacks, and he's going to have a great big line. But he's also going to see defenses like he's never seen. So it's, yes. it, it just it's the five six. You can get over in. High school, you can get over it less in college, and we've seen in, in the pros it's almost impossible. How big is Danny Woodhead? Granted, he's about 200. I believe he's like 5'8". I'm thinking 8. Yeah, yeah, I would say that he's probably taller than you think, so I would guess that he's 5'10". Okay. But, you know, um, no, 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 he's not 5'10". I don't think he's 5'10". Okay, well, he's I, I'm, be that's why I said I was a guess. Yeah. Was a guess. <laughs> okay, I'm penalizing you right, for your stupid fine. guess. How about that? Uh, the class 5A. There's a way we could figure that out. <laughs> yeah, oh. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Right. Class 5A Offensive Player of the Year as well. Um, would you, if you were recruiting him, granted I do not know TCU's quarterback situation. Let's say you had a guy who's going to be a senior right now. Do you convert him to running back? Uh, it, again, you don't know until I don't know what they have there. If this kid's a quarterback, you have to change your offense for him. Uh, you see what, what he can do. But I don't think right off the bat you convert somebody who's a quarterback into a running back until you say, what, he runs a 449? 449, four, four, yeah. So, I mean, you, you consider that because they, it, there's certainly a lot that you can play uh, running back a lot easier in, in college football. You know football, who would draft five, him, six. Michael? Who would draft Al him? Al Davis. Al Davis would draft him. Yeah. Yes, he, he would. would, he would as draft a quarterback him. or as a running back? As a special teamer. Yeah, if he was, if he was an overweight 5'6", he'd draft him. Oh, yeah. yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, JR, would you, uh, how would you handle this guy, Desmond well, White? Well, I mean, just to be honest, I mean, if I, I'm not in the recruiting game, but I'd be honest with the kid and be like, listen, uh, similar to what I was already saying, it's a different game. Uh, we're going to try it, but be prepared. We might have yeah. to shift you around a little bit. Well, I think also any kid who's 5'6", who is this successful has heard everybody doubt. Right. So he's even he's, if he's only 18, doesn't matter. Yes, he's he's because he yeah. when every when every other kid at 14 was starting to get bigger, he didn't. So he is he's heard doubters his whole life. So he he'll, he'll hear the and coach and at TCU yeah. say to him, you know, guy, listen, man, it's going to be tough for you. He said, all right, tough. I can do tough. You know, yeah, and maybe he will. Yeah, and exactly. that'd be awesome. Sure, and we'll never know. Or, or unfortunately, we will not know until he enrolls at TCU officially.